So it's a few days after the first video and uh, we've had our first two snows. There's several inches on the ground. I've got my skirt up. I'm not going to highlight the skirt an awful lot in this video, but I will tell you <clears throat> it's a well-made skirt and I'm very impressed with it. And for anybody who's looking for a skirt for winter living, uh, definitely contact me. I will get you the contact information of the company and uh, I can even work with you to get a superior price. Uh, you're looking here at the front of the uh, fifth wheel, the front of my outdoors RV, and uh, you can see there's an extra room there. I'm not going to pull up the uh, zippers right now. I'll do that in a video where I highlight the, uh, uh, the skirt, but this is where there becomes a way to get access to the front of the RV that you saw earlier in this video or in the prior video, however I set this up. Now what I've done is I've organized the storage a bit better. <laughs> um, so this is actually more like what it's gonna look like permanently. Um, at the moment, most of these containers still have a lot of, of cans and uh, goods that belong in the pantry and they're going to be going into the pantry after I finish creating a pantry. And I'll explain more about that um, on the interior. But I wanted to show you the exterior now with the uh, skirting up. I'm just going to pan down and along. Like I say, we've got maybe about, oh, I don't know, four, five, six inches of snow on the ground. It's really nothing. I like these steps. I really like these steps. You see those little rubber strips? They really help with grip, uh, especially when they're covered with snow and ice like you can see they are right now. Um, the handle here also is very secure and I think a little larger than normal so uh, that impresses me too. Everything inside storage is warm and bone dry. That's important to know. Warm and bone dry. Now we're going to walk around along to the other side. <clears throat> I want to show you a couple things along here. Very soon, actually tomorrow, Right here, there will be a 120 gallon propane tank. I have that delivered every winter, and that's what covers me so that I don't have to keep refilling the seven gallon or 30 pound bottles that the uh, trailer comes with. And all these trailers are like this. This is now the other side of the storage, and I've pulled it open fully. This is a magnetic catch uh, that just stays open. Um, this is pretty much really how I'm going to have it organized. And I've done <clears throat> something else interesting here. Um, as we work our way along, I want to point out that the skirting company cut a hole for the sewer hose and they also put a zipper in so you can access the, uh, the T-poles, the uh, gray pole and the black pole. And this trailer does not have the uh, poles on cables, it has them right next to the uh, sewer pipe which as I showed you earlier or in the prior video is not exposed very much at all. This is an area <clears throat> which could be for the garbage can, but I've decided to turn it into secondary storage. It's actually fairly deep and fairly spacious, uh, I'd say a few, a few cubic feet. So that is becoming a secondary storage area for me, rather than uh, using that strictly to dump uh, kitchen trash. As I work my way around, obviously the skirting goes all the way around the trailer. Now on the back, what I've ordered here and what I actually built up myself is a Kurt rack. Uh, this is a, a 60 by 20 inch rack. It's going to have a bag sitting on top of it so that at least some of these empty storage bins are going to be able to sit inside and carry additional stuff. Uh, what I have in mind is during the spring and summer, this is where the skirt will go in this 60 by 20 rack. So I wanted to share all this with you real quick. Uh, again, if you're interested in the skirting, contact me privately, I'll go over that with you. Um, if you want to see more about the outside, look at the prior video. It shows everything before it was all buttoned up. And uh, again, uh, this thing is holding up extremely well. We've been as cold as about 14 degrees in the morning and it's going down to five tomorrow morning. Okay, uh, you take care.